everybody. Hey everybody. Hey guys. Hey everybody, my name's Rob Newbury and in this video I want to show you this drawing, the section all. I've always felt you learn more from your mistakes and I want you to feel comfortable trying this out for yourself, learning from my mistakes. <coughs> Whilst you're at it, we're gonna be using charcoal powder. So let's open that window. With that done, let's get started. Welcome everyone, it's Raoul. Now I'll be using water in this drawing, so I want a strong paper. Well, this Bristol paper is a good choice, but any watercolour paper or any heavyweight paper will do. I want you guys to be aware of the risks, so always read them labels. This is a good quality powder, but I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. Now this you can pick up from any art supply store. It's vine charcoal and very inexpensive. Grab some sandpaper and sand it down, and you have yourself charcoal powder. So once it's out, all I'm using is water. Okay, let's get down to business here, starting on this drawing, marking in the main key points here. Well, I really want to just play around and get a feel for things, so I'm painting in the shapes very lightly. Drying each layer will really help you out. Not only will it help strengthen the paper again, but once it's dry, it's going to be much easier to add that next layer of charcoal down. So it's going well here, keeping to the big shapes first. And then for some reason, I did a major. <coughs> but let's keep going and pull this one out the back. Round. First thing to do is to dry it, strengthen that paper back up again. I chose to brush it down, and this will make it a lot easier to see as I'm finding the shapes again. Look closely and you can see how easy it is to push and pull that charcoal around once it's dry. I chose the area of the nose as an anchor point of which to measure everything else off of. Once I feel I have that area down as accurate as possible, I feel confident to work on the surrounding features. Now every material has its unique strengths and weaknesses, so I recommend experimenting and add variety to your art. Now I'm using the brush here to solidify some of these shapes, just to bring them together. As I've gradually built up the big shapes first, it's now a lot easier to find the medium and smaller shapes. So most of my time is spent looking and comparing. Comparing the shapes in the reference photo to the shapes in my drawing. One of the great things about graphite is that it's a lot easier to control and build up half tones. I'm intentionally softening down that ear. I want to bring the viewer's attention back to the face. So when I brush over an area with water, it looks super dark, really cool. Bear in mind that when it dries, it will go back to looking like this. And remember, we always want to be sure the paper is dry before we draw again. Otherwise... So let's dry it and work back over the top. Roll. With that done, the main lesson is just stick in there. You'll learn a lot from working through your mistakes. I want to thank everyone who watched this video. If you like it, click that subscribe button, and that way you'll stay updated every time I post a new video.